Hi, in this Getting Started video for Spire Team, I want to show you how to create a brand new project. The first thing you have to do is get to the administration console. So go to the top left of your screen here, click on this down arrow, click on administration. If your screen looks like this, and there's lots of stuff grayed out down the side, particularly around here, the view edit projects, then it means you don't have sufficient permission to create projects. Assuming you do have sufficient permission, make sure you're on the view edit projects page, which can be found here. Here you'll see a list in the screen of existing projects and let's create a brand new one by clicking the add button. Once you're on the new project page, it's just a matter of typing in a name. So I'm gonna call mine Pinecone Tracker App. You can give it a description if you like and you can assign it to a group. I'm gonna click the defaults you can select a template which gives you a lot of power to decide exactly what settings you want for this particular project. But Spire Team has really good defaults baked in and that's gonna work for me right now. Click Insert. And now you can see Pinecone Tracker app is right here in the middle of the screen. Let's click Select here. And you can see at the top we've switched from being in Live Information System to Pinecone Tracker app. And that means that now a lot of stuff in the administration console will affect specifically Pinecone Track app, the currently selected project. One of the first things you're going to want to do is add users to your project. So for that, let's go over here to the users section and you can see project membership is going to give us what we want. So currently, because I created the project as system administrator, I'm actually the only member of this project. So let's add a few more people. Let's just click add over here. And now you can see there's all the users in the system right now. You can filter them if you want to just select a certain group or a certain department. But I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add Amy as one of the managers. Jack here is going to be a tester. And Fred is also going to be a tester. And let's finally add Martha as a developer. So those four have assigned roles to them. Now just click the big orange add button. And now you can see we're back at Pinecone Tracker app project membership. And we've now got all those people as members. Now that they're members, if I want to change the role, if actually I want to have Fred not be a tester anymore, but maybe now he's just an observer, I switch him to observer then click save over here, and now it's been updated. So now we've got a project, we've assigned a whole bunch of people to it and given them specific roles, and now we can get on and start populating our project. To find out more about how to actually put in your data and information into this project, please check out the other videos in this playlist. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, I'd love to know what you think my Pinecone Tracker app should do, so please do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to stay up to date with hints and tips for Spyro Team and other intellectual products, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.